Hello and welcome to a P3, P4 Warden on Insanity mode. I uh, thought I'd just make this video to demonstrate and allow people to observe the uh, Insanity modifier invocation. Um, so I'll give you guys a walkthrough of what I'm doing and pretty much how the fight's going to go. So spawning up top, it's uh, random if you're your starting tile, so you can just go to the the correct side, the right side, our right. Um, it'll always start left, right, middle, uh, but the main difference in Insanity, apart from the obvious speed increase, is that the cycle never breaks, so if it was to hit on the right and then phase into red scales, it'll uh, hit on the middle next. Uh, Anyway, uh, I have my adrenaline potion uh, ticking, so I want to throw a BGS as soon as I can. Unfortunately, it misses, so I go back into my range gear. Um, obviously, still trying to dodge left and right, and in the middle, getting the hidden when it's safe. Uh, it's always better to miss a tick or two uh, to be able to position yourself correctly and not take damage. Uh, red skulls come out, so you see... Nice dispatch of the red skulls. Uh, I moved to the very back of the room because you actually do get a, an extra tick uh, of reaction time. As you can see, hit to the left, uh, right, and then middle. I was able to dodge, uh, going in for a second BGS. Uh, a couple of missed ticks there, but we got the 11 off. Uh, at this point, that's all I can really afford. Even with the ring, I'm going to need a save for double claw spec on P4, like post and rage. Uh, so here I was just trying to do some inventory management, uh, making sure I stay high HP, uh, drop the nectar on the ground to be able to start uh, unloading the satchel or the second inventory. Uh, as you can see there, hit the middle, so after I dispatch the red skulls, uh, he's going to hit on the left. Uh, second, second set of red skulls, Aka spawns, uh, always uh, starting with range. And uh, I do prefer Akka and Kefri over Zabak and Bubba, uh, mainly because uh, Akka is a little bit easier to deal with uh, as he has a set cycle. So he starts with range and he'll hit three times and then he'll switch to mage and hit three times and that'll continue throughout the entire fight. He also has that animation there where he slams the ground to signify that he is changing styles. So a lot more comfortable. Uh, third set of red scales, Kefri spawns, I misclick and actually, well, I lose a tick there, I'm pretty sure, or two. Uh, incoming damage here, uh, don't need to panic, just need to remember where the cycle was, and sip a bruise, you got plenty of bruise, I like to save my ambrosias uh, for P4, and um, I was in no immediate danger, I remembered where the cycle was, so I was able to adapt to that. Uh, Kefri is actually just free here. Uh, because of how quick you're moving, it syncs up quite well with uh, where you have to dodge to. Like, you should uh, you should never be on the same tile that you're getting uh, the Kefri bomb on. Still praying against Akka and keeping the cycle. Uh, so they're here on the right. So after these four sets of red skulls, um, he's going to hit on the middle. Uh, what I do here is I do run to the back of the room. However, I don't stand on the very back tile. I stand one in front just in case I lost track of the cycle so I can step to the very back and get that extra tick of reaction time. Making my way back to the front of the room, uh, still praying against Akka, Dr. Kefri. Uh, this is just so my Tebow hit procs one tick earlier. So I go in for the claw. I do notice my overload is about to tick me back up to 125 so the claw is safe to go. Get two good claws, uh, switch back into range and this is where you start just going slow, uh, selecting your tile very carefully. I like to prioritize staying on Akka's side of the room. Uh, this allows me to keep track of his uh, prayer switching animation with the ground slam. Uh, it's always better to lose a tick or two uh, selecting a correct tile over greeting the Tebow hit. Uh, if you are to greet the Tebow hit, uh, the lightning does around 20 something damage. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but then stacked out with the Kefri auto, you're looking at about 50 damage plus. Uh, and it's pretty much just select your tile and hit the boss. If Tebow doesn't noodle, it goes down pretty quick. I didn't even touch my Ambrosia, so the total damage for P3 was about two and a half brews. So uh, feel free to go back and rewatch this, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed and 
use this as a resource.